Hello YouTube, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas, Nerdy Librarian here. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment on this video if you want to see more of this. Now, we're going to be jumping back in here, and... I'm kind of excited for this, but at the same time, we need to address the elephant in the room a little bit. I'm talking about this atrocity that's in front of me. Head to Novak through Nipton. I'm, I'm just going to say, guys, this one, Novak, looks like a war crime right now. It's, it's bad. Let's see, so. I'm trying to remember what my controls here are. Okay, C is quick save, good. You can tell it's been a bit since I've done this. Uh. Okay. F5, of course, switches that. If we want Pip Boy Light, tab. V for VATS. And holster that. Okay, we're good, we're good. Yeah! Who won the lottery? I did! Smell that air! Couldn't you just drink it like booze? <laughs> Are you feeling all right there? Are you kidding me? Never felt better. Yeah. You seen what's around here? What the heck? Are you powder ganger or something? Powder ganger? What? I mean, yeah, used to be, sure. But not no more. Powder gang is small time, man. I'm a winner. I won the motherfucking lottery. <laughs> well, this guy's nuts. What sort of lottery did you win? Chances are it couldn't have been anything good with what's around here. What lottery? The lottery, that's what lottery. Are you stupid? Only lottery that matters. Oh, oh my god, smell that air! <laughs> Time for me to go. Later. Nah, we'll let him go. Other fish to fry, I think. What the heck happened here? Ooh, hey, hey, a nice magazine like that. Open door to Nipton House. Is it as bad in here as it is out there? No, in fact, you got Sunset Sarsaparilla just stashed away. Thank, thank you for that. What do we got? Have we got anything good here? Some squirrels, too, if you want some rads. Nice, uh, chewy squirrel and... Ooh, gecko steak. I'm going to take the gecko steak. That actually heals pretty well. Probably. That's probably worth the radiation, right? I mean... What's the whole song? What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. It's not going to feel very good. I I'll tell you that. Uh, what do we got here? We got anything good here? I mean... Oh. Star bottle cap. I wondered. Okay. And more duct tape. We, you know, we always need it. We always need that stuff. Ah, but... Hey, the Nipton Trading Post. The oh, we'll get to that in a little bit. Yikes! Yikes! Hey, whoa! Are you fucking kidding me? First, I get my leg smashed, and then in walks the Powder Ganger's grim fucking Reaper. What the fuck have you got against us, man? Jesus fucking Yikes. Christ! Yikes! If you want me dead, just give me 15 medics and I'll fucking OD for you, okay? Fuck! Wow, this guy's still, uh... Wow, he's salty. <gasps> Why are you still here? I mean, what, what even happened here? I don't know. I just love it here. What the fuck do you think, asshole? 
prize for second place was I got to live. But they beat my fucking legs with hammers. I'm fucking crippled, get it? I can spare some medics. Then you're a fucking dream come true, ain't you? How much you gonna give me? What? One, dos, ah, 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 two, dos, ah, 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 three, dos, ah, ah, ah. Three doses? That's almost enough for a party. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, how how did you survive? Or, uh, I mean, first, really, what, what happened to this town? The Legion happened. What the fuck's it look like? I don't know. I just got here, and he scarred my head... Someone put uh, a nice little lead pin in my head, put it that way. But really, how, how did you survive this? Luck, that's how. I'm just that fucking lucky. You're looking at the second place winner of the Nipton Lottery. That asshole Swanick took first place. So him they let walk. Tell me about the lottery. It ain't like we came to Nipton to play it. Me and my crew had it worked out to kidnap some NCR troopers who come to town to get laid. Had it all worked out with the scumbag mayor. We were going to ransom them off, keep their weapons for ourselves. A nice score. So how did your plan go wrong? What happened? We get in position, and next thing we know, we're surrounded by those fucking Legion freaks. They dragged us and everybody else into the center of town. And that asshole with a dog on his head, he starts talking about how we're bad people. He said we needed to be punished for what we did. Not all of us, but some of us. And then he gives everyone a fucking lottery ticket. What happened after everybody got lottery tickets? What do you think? He started drawing tickets and that's how people got punished. First up was the lucky losers. They got decapitated. Guess that's lucky cause it's pretty quick. Then came the crucifixions. God damn, but those went on and on and on. Third place runners up got enslaved. I got the fuck beat out of my legs, and the winner, they let go free. What happened to this, um, mayor? What happened to this mayor that you spoke of? Him? When his ticket came up, they burned him alive on a pile of tires. Oh. Well, that's lovely. You said some of the people were enslaved, right? Do you happen to know where, uh they went, where they were taken. Yeah, a bunch of those Legion fucks dragged them off right away. They were headed east, if you're feeling heroic. I mean, I'll do what I can to save them. It, really, it's not my problem. I'm tracking my own would-be killers as it is, but... I'll help. Don't act like you'd be doing me a favor. I don't give a fuck. I can tell. Why don't we talk about something else here? Like what? You're right. There's not much else to talk about here, so I need to get going. Bye. Boy. Yeah, I think I think they've had a time here. Oh my gosh. Oh. Ooh. That'll kill him. That's... Yeah, I don't want to take a shot on him yet. Four legionaries. Well, that's horrific. That, oh my gosh. Okay. Let's see here. Can't 
can't get a good angle on him. I wonder how I got that shot off to begin with. Oh! Really? Ah, oh, always landmines. Okay. Fine. Whatever. Okay, I think we are hitting them. It's just... It's not doing much. Uh... Okay, I've got a dumb idea. And you know, I just really enjoy dumb ideas. Gosh dang it, more landmines. Ah! Hey, me, watch where you're going. Okay. Well, I mean, bad news, we got a little bit destroyed there. Good news is, not completely destroyed. Okay. There's a safe there. Oh! Ooh! 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 I must fit a pressure plate or something. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! What just happened? Okay, this is a madhouse. This is... What, what have I wandered into? What did I wander into here? Oh! Must have stung me. That must be what happens when they sting, right? Oh, gosh. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Well. Oh, boy. Yikes. Caravan lunch. Perfect. Okay. What do I keep getting hit by? What is that? What the heck is happening? Gosh. Legion ear, okay. I don't think taking the armor is going to help me blend in, but you never know. Okay, good news, no landmines. I Yeah, I can't get into that. Okay. Hold up. Are they both empty. No. Another poison plant. Okay. Very easy save. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Perfect. Another grenade rifle. And a Patriot's cookbook. Good to know. Good to know. Let's see. Our little uh, China Lake here we used last time. The the mercenary's grenade rifle. Yeah. It was insanely bad. Uh Anyway. Well, he did mention they burned the mayor on a giant pile of tires, right? 
gigantic tire fire. Yeah. That. Yeah. That's probably where that was. Okay, what's in this fun house? Okay. Doesn't look too terribly awful. Wasteland Settlers, okay. Pretty quiet in here. Alright. Oh boy. Horrific. Horrific this place. That's all that's the only way I can describe this. Just that's that's awful. Okay. Two legionary recruits and oh no, three and a mongrel. What we have to deal with. Uh, what's what's the best way to get them? I just got wild waste landed. Why did that happen? What what did happen even? Oh no! <laughs> oh oh no! Now I remember. Oh rip! Oh, that's a Star Wars reference. Yikes! Oh, Uncle Owen, Aunt Beru, no! I want to become a Jedi like my father before me. Do you really, Luke? Do you really? Let's do something dumb, shall we? Let's see what we have in here. Cause I want to—I want to catch them by surprise while doing AOE. I mean, we have long fuse dynamite or frag grenades. I mean, what's our explosive skill look like? No, we're at we're at 24, not 25, so we can't even use those effectively. Which probably explains. Well, no, the mercenary's grenade rifle shouldn't have had an issue with. You know what? We'll give this thing another chance to shine. I think it'll work. Fulpis in Kulta. Hmm. This thing gets some horrific drop, though. Also, also, I mean, can we just point out? I, I just want to point out there are five of them. Plus a legion mongrel out there. I actually the mongrel's making its way over this way. I yikes. Okay. Hmm. There has to be a better way to do this, right? Okay, I can do this without making too much noise. It seems like. See, I'm, re I'm really running out of healing supplies on this. This is just... Oh, that was good.
Oh! See you, chump. Oh. Hey! Oh, I took... Okay, I took limb damage, and I'm hated by Caesar's Legion. Now that folks know you're bad, most people outright hate you. Well, I mean, it comes with the territory, am I right? Sometimes you just have to do what you have to do. Legion Denarii, 25. Legion Explorer Armor. Oh, Agave, I like that. Oh, oh my gosh! He had a ripper on him? Oh! Ooh! Lovely. Cowboy Repeater. Ooh, that's actually huge. Compared to what we've been using. Because we have a varmint rifle. I'd much rather use the cowboy repeater. I'm surprised we're getting it this late, though. Anti-venom? Perfect. That'll... That'll be useful for later. Oh, my... <laughs> oh, perfect. Another one so we can repair it? Awesome. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, I, I know I'm crippled, game. Quit that. It, it's... I know it's not it's not ideal, but Okay. Yeah, and it uses 357. That's perfect. Perfect for this. Oh, rip, rip bozo. Okay. Now, I feel bad about this, but Look, these guys, they're near death. They're, I think they're going to be dead anyway on this, right? In game, in game. Because uh, booted, rescue the captives. Yeah, because they went that way for it. I just... The best thing right now for these guys is, is to just end the suffering. That's... Oh, n Oh, my... I'm so sorry about that. Oh, that was disgusting. Oh, boy. I... I feel bad about that, but at the same time... At the same time, it had to be done, right? It was... Look, otherwise, they would have continued to be in pain, just suffering until the bitter end. And I feel bad about it, but sometimes, sometimes in game, in the Fallout universe. Yeah, I'll use a weapon repair kit on that, actually. Because, uh, full cowboy. Well, okay, got us up to this point. Oh, oh, weapon repair kits only do, like, uh, they only repair maybe 10% of quality. Boy, okay, so, uh, it crashed a little bit there. Glad, glad we had a save file on it. Dang it! Gosh, dang it, landmines? Landmines everywhere. This... Oh my gosh. Oh, they're just frustrating, those landmines. Problem is, I can never see them either. Yeah, this was horrific. You know what? I knew they were going to be in here. I just, I forgot temporarily, and yeah, okay. Okay. Doctors bag it up. We're good. Uh. Oh, strength plus four on that? Oh, man. Okay, yeah. 
Have to take some rads, but it's fine. Oh no, there's more of them. More Legion mongrels. I really do wish my sneak skill was better. Okay, locked hard. Can't get in there. That's fine. Oh. Lottery tickets. Problem is they don't really show up very well on on the compass there where enemies should be. And I oh gosh. Okay, rad roaches. Disgusting this place. Okay, it's a pile of junk. Got it. Yuck. <sighs> yeah, why why do they not why do they not show up on on the compass here? The the Legion mongrels. Well, now they do. Three shots apiece is what it takes. Yikes. Hope there's something good in this place. Ow. can't see a thing in here. Of course, they would have taken everything off the bodies in here. That, of course that happened. Ah, oh, boy. Okay. And I can't imagine it's much, much better on the second floor. I mean, look at the mess you made of this place, guys. Come on. You trashed it. It's trash, dog. Rip dog meat. Okay, the assembly floor. Glad it didn't crash that time around. Why are there always more of them? Little jump shot there. Oh, disgusting. Do we have any more healing items? This is getting ridiculous. Oh, boy. Well, enjoy those rads. Yeah. Enjoy those rads, me. Okay, empty sunset sarsaparilla bottles. Sarsapar <laughs> Can't see the landmines! Oh, You know, I 
really think that's going to end up being... I, I really think that's going to end up being a thumbnail for this. Just, just landmines, landmines everywhere. Just... Just myself, the nerdy librarian, surrounded by a field of landmines. This is... Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. Debuff. That's fine. Okay. Are there any more landmines we need to worry about? Not here, at very least, it looks like. Thank goodness. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. What have we got here? We got anything good here? This is just a... Stein's office. Stein's office. Wow, all of the vending machines up here. Just gimme. Okay. Oh, fresh stuff? Absolutely. No. The strong stuff, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you for offering. Okay, doesn't look like there are any landmines in here. Thankfully. Thankfully. The bane of my existence, those things. A rat away in this economy? Hey! <laughs> Better quick save. Better quick save there. And a locked pick. Perfect. Eh, that does sell well, thankfully. Wouldn't pick it up otherwise. Need the caps. Oh, nine mil rounds? Oh. Chef's kiss. Just chef's kiss. Computer terminal out of order. Perfect. Next. Okay. Oh, bobby pin. Thank you. Oh, more of them? Oh. Programmer's Digest. Two of them. Mentats. Big book of science? Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Yep, science increased by three. Perfect. Needed that. Needed that buff. Oh, come on. Thwarted by another locked door. Well... I guess we can't get into the office. So sad. Okay. Well, let's get the heck out of here. And then keep on our way. It took us way too long in this place, I swear. That was... That was rough. Landmines. Also, then to have a crash in there, too. That's just unfortunate. Oh. 
Ah, oh, feels bad. Where are we on the map, by the way? Okay. Oh. I don't think we're getting close to New Vegas today. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, well, I mean, we've had a lot of just tense gameplay right now. I, I do have a few more stories to tell. I, I told a lot of food ones and in part three, and I have another food story, people. Well, actually, okay, so it, it ties to a momentous time occasion in my life. Uh, I'm going to be getting married here very shortly, very soon. And so my groomsmen, the groomsmen and myself, we went on, we went on, we traveled somewhere for the bachelor party. And, you know, best man was keeping it a surprise, which I'm I'm very glad he did that. I I do like surprises and that sort of thing. Not nasty surprises, of course, but you know, ones that are just kind of fun. And then I mean I I wasn't sure what he was planning, but I was able to deduce it a little bit. We ended up going to an amusement park that I really like. And after Afterward, we're leaving, and we're like, okay, where do we want to go for dinner? And I'm like, you know, I'm in, I'm kind of in a pizza mood. It feels like a pizza sort of day. So, get to looking up pizza places nearby, and he finds, you know, all the others are just these chain restaurants, fast food, whatever, and it's like, no, 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 let's... Let's actually go somewhere decent. And so we found this we found this place. And oh my gosh, it was some of the best pizza I've ever had. I ordered I ordered a nice margarita pizza. So you know, for those of you who don't know what's on a margarita style pizza, you're going to have olive oil. Ow! Ow, ow, ow. We'll get back to the story in a bit. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Whoa! I don't want to set the world on fire. Ah, oh, gosh. I don't see them. Where are they attacking? Oh, hold up. I see them now. Okay, I, I'm sensing a running theme where we are just going to be constantly crippled in game. But anyway, you know, margarita pizza, olive oil, so you're going to have a tomato sauce base, and then followed by, followed by uh, some olive oil, some fresh basil, fresh mozzarella, some sun-dried tomatoes, and some, some garlic. Oh my gosh, it was so good. It was fantastic. I mean, yeah, just some of the best food I have ever had. I it was great. Another story actually from the bachelor party. So, you know, we all thought, "Hey, this is going to be a great idea going to an amusement park, right?" Turns out one of my groomsmen really doesn't like amusement park rides that much. I I think my ear is still recovering from from the amount of screaming that happened in it. It's all right. It's all right. I I completely understand. It's like you know what? Some people don't like roller coaster style rides or spinning around, you know, speed that sort of thing. Claustrophobia. I get it. I get it.
I'm s and I'm sorry that it happened, but I mean, oh my gosh. Because we, we'd gotten onto one of those uh, tilt-a-whirl rides. Just a little egg-shaped cart on a s small circular track that's set on a platform that spins and goes up and down some hills. So, you get doing some pretty tight corners on that. It was just, just nasty. How it went around. But, so that's, that's how that went. But yeah, we, we had a fun time. We ended up going, this place that we went, it also had a water park with it, so we ended up going there in the afternoon and just, <laughs> and you, you can tell, you can tell that we're not necessarily kids anymore when, when we all say our favorite part is just going to the lazy river so we can relax. <laughs> Well, I mean, place that full of water slides, a wave pool, and what do we say our favorite bit is? The Lazy River. But you know what? You know what? I'm. That's not me knocking Lazy Rivers either. I I fully fully admit those are those are fantastic things. Oh boy. Trying to think what else has happened recently. I mean, I mean, yeah, I'm looking forward to. I, I'm looking forward to marrying my fiance. Uh, she is the best person in the world to me. She means so much to me. Love her. I'm still surprised she puts up with my shenanigans sometimes, but <laughs> the amount of times I okay, okay, I'm the sort of person that tries to at, who accidentally brings too much comedy into just normal everyday conversations, and I really shouldn't. I, but I, you know, I don't mean to. That's. Just, um. Well, that's intense. Big old shockwave, that. Let's just, uh, approach this. Approach this slowly and cautiously. Because I don't want that same fate to hit me. Especially with my limb damage in-game. <sighs> Boy. Really? Oh! Oh no, that was your pop earlier. Oh, oh no. Oh, my goodness. Oh. But yeah, I'm just I'm just excited for that. Just just excited for the wedding. Well, what I always tell people is, and this is the truth, and for anybody who who's married already, who's been through that, I am both excited and nervous in equal measure. You know, that's just oh, such such a time in life, you know. I'm looking forward to it. Is this where that uh, shock grenade went off, by the way? It looks pretty bad over here. Oh. Okay, some grenades. Grenade rifle. I don't really need another one of those. Takes up a lot of carry weight and doesn't sell that well. Hmm. 10 mil, though. Kinda does. Okay. Yum yum deviled eggs. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. Yeah. The real interesting thing is that every. Like. 
My sneak skill's not high enough yet because anytime I try to sneak up on somebody, they're just see they're just spotting me immediately, you know. <sighs> A lot of gunfire too. Speaking of which, it's not going to be a shotgun wedding, you know. Both both families are chill. Well, I mean, we we like to have fun, a little bit of fun, obviously, but you know, not not anything like that. We don't we don't get too crazy. Uh, what direction is that, by the way? Not anywhere we need to go right now, I suppose. Uh, what have we got here? We got anything good here? Decrepit trailer park, anybody? What is happening here? I'm sure this. Can, I'm sure all of this can only end well, right? Ranger Station Charlie. Okay. Okay, it's NCR. That's not... Not the worst thing in the world. Let's just uh, mosey on in and see, what, see what's going on in here. Hello? Anybody home? Anybody home? Anybody here? Okay, there's someone below me. The question is, how do we get in there? Here. Okay. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Yeah, I can understand that. Oh. Uh. Well, they seem to like me well enough around here. I mean, they're not attacking me on sight, and nothing seems to be quote-unquote stealing, so that's nice. McCarran doesn't like it when civilians wander into military outposts, so if you're here on business, better make it quick. What was that about McCarran? Radio signal out here can be pretty spotty because of all the hills. Sometimes our scheduled updates don't go through. When it happens enough times, they send someone over to check up on us. Lately, we've been getting extra medical supplies for some reason. I'm in no rush to give the supplies back, either. Mind if I take some of those extra medical supplies? Uh, I shouldn't have said anything in the first place. And I'd rather not get you into the habit of crossing the NCR. What is this place, by the way? Ranger Station Charlie. We're responsible for keeping the highway up through Novak Civilized. Is there anything unusual happening around here? All quiet at the moment. Ranger Beaumont is in charge here, but he's off leading a patrol. Uh, can you tell? What can you tell me about said uh, Rangers, my friend? We're part scout, part commando, part sheriff. The training is brutal, and I'd say eight out of ten recruits washes out before the end. Before you get your Ranger badge, you've got to prove you can be quieter than a shadow and more ferocious than a death claw. Are there a lot of rangers? I mean, out here in the Mojave, are, are there a lot of rangers, or just a few? A couple dozen, I'd say. Most of them posted at stations like this one. We either man the station or patrol the immediate area. So, uh, how does someone become a ranger, might I ask? The rangers mostly draw from the basic NCR army. A trooper who shows exceptional skill at fighting and scouting can be nominated for the training. Let's talk about something else. All right? Sure. I, I mean, I, I don't need to know too much more about the, about the NCR right now. But uh, thank you for your time. Goodbye. See you around. Okay. They have a lot of medical supplies. That. Oh, okay. So it would be considered. It would be considered stealing. Good to know. Now, in real life, I don't, I don't like to steal. Okay, that stealing is wrong. Don't do that. But boy, are we low on medical supplies. This 
Speaking of which, where do they keep their medical supplies in here? Anybody see him? I just... Am I just blind? Okay. Okay, hidden right now. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Oh, just just need medical supplies. Just so many of them. All right, let's get out of here. Back, you know, as Willie Nelson says, on the road again. I just can't wait to get back on that road again. Oh joy, we're coming up on a place uh, I know pretty well. Place, uh, place called Novak. For those of you who haven't played this game yet, you'll you'll see why it's called that. It, it's a very interesting place. Oh, we can see New Vegas from here already. I think. Is that New Vegas up ahead? Yeah, it is. Perfect. Oh, hold up. What's going on here? Howdy. If you're planning on staying a while, the Dino Delight's got plenty of room. With all the people passing through lately, the town's been doing better than, well, ever. Interesting. What about you? If it weren't for the water caravans, Novak would have turned to dust a long time ago. Alright. Don't listen to a word Nobark says. I don't think he ever sleeps, so it's no wonder he spouts nothing but nonsense. What can I do for you? Ah, I'm hurt. I, I need help, Doc. That's not so bad. I'll have you looking as good as new. I mean, what are the chances of me botching another routine procedure in the same day? You know, on second thought, then, I think I'll be fine. Sometimes ignoring something is the best medicine. Yeah, judging by your shirt there, I'd say that's probably the truth. In lieu of that, how about I buy some medical supplies? Is that all right? Yeah, and I need sterile medical supplies. But let's see what I have with me. Yeah, I need to pony up a little for things. Okay. Now, we do have a few things we can sell, thankfully. So that's not too much of an issue. Don't I don't use the boxing tape. Broad uh, we'll keep the broad machete caravan shotgun, sell it. Oh, what else do we have here? I I think we saw the varmint rifle at this point. It it really doesn't make much sense for us to use that. Also, uh, speaking of my lovely fiance, I'm gonna call from her right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause this one. A little and bit. we're back. Okay, wow, I still oh 576 caps, huh? Okay, I may have bit off a bit more than I can chew. Or maybe not. I mean, we we do have a bit to sell. Also, please tell me we can uh please tell me we can use this for something. Like to craft something funny, please be great. Um Oh yeah, we can we can sell that. Hang on to one of those. Hang on to a rebound. Hang on to a steady. Um 
Yeah, hang on to a stealth boy. I... I'm pretty sure stealth boys in this are a whole lot better than in in some of the other games, if I had to guess. Oh, okay. Bark scorpion glance. That helps bring this down a bit. Perfect. The sigs. Perfect. I hope I'm not dumping too much carry weight here. Okay, now here's the question. Is there any ammo that I'm just never going to use? No, I'm... No, I need all the ammo. Okay. You know, 194 caps. That's fine. Nice, even 1,700 caps left. That'll be very nice. Thanks. Time for me to go. Later. She hasn't paid me anything yet. Should I be worried? Uh, maybe. I mean, she just got caps. If she doesn't pay you, yeah, I'd be worried. What about you? Between you and me, I don't think she studied at an accredited institution. Between you and me, I'd say you're probably right. Judging by the shirt, once again. Okay, you just left that out in the... Wait, what? That's only potentially dangerous. Okay. Okay. Ooh, reloading bench. Um. Break down scrap metal to lead 200? Yeah. Absolutely. Um. Okay, now I have more than enough lead to be able to do that. Just would need powder and primer and all of that fun stuff. Or a higher repair skill would do it too. Okay. Thanks, game. Thank you for telling me how inadequate I am sometimes. It's it's really just infuriating. But anyway. Free lock picking? Ayo. Okay, yeah, game. I know. I lost karma. Oh. Convert energy cells to microfusion cells, I think, is what that is. Overcharging energy... <laughs> wow, if I could talk. Oh, wait. I can recycle them, though. Ayo. Ayo. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Wait a minute. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit if it ain't my old friend from Good Springs. <laughs> well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. Boy, this guy knows how to talk. What are you doing in Novak? Don't rightly know. I just got the notion to make my way to New Vegas. Reckon I'll find out when I get there. So what's the story with this place? Why the giant dinosaur? Novak? Nice enough place, I suppose, but between you and me, when I rolled into town, my skin started to itch. Watch yourself. Just not saying this to him. He's a robot. Doesn't have skin. Can he get an itch? Do robots get itches? Would somebody actually program an itch into a robot? That'd be funny. I can't reach it. Ah, it'd be great. Well, it's nice to see a friendly face out here. Likewise, friend. Likewise. Is there anything old Vic can do you for? Well, actually, ah, uh, you said the men that jumped me were heading this way, right? No, don't believe I did. But you might ask around. The Novak folk usually see anyone traveling this way. All right, goodbye. Be seeing you. I'm not going to say stay out of my way, robot, but nor am I going to recruit him, if you catch my drift. Hey there. Hello there. Well, welcome to you. You look tired from the road. Why don't you relax a spell? Let this fine town take care of you. 
Uh, we haven't met yet. Oh, what am I doing? I got to thinking about making a good impression and plain forgot to tell you my name. I'm Jeannie May. I take care of folks here at the motel, long as they aren't troublemakers. I mean, what what is this place? We're in a little desert oasis, name of Novak. This is the Dino Delight Motel, and it's mine. So, uh, look, I'm just gonna cut right to the chase. I'm looking for a man in a checkered coat. See the scar on my head? Well, that's where a bullet entered in. Fired by this man. Have you seen anyone like that? Well, he might have been wearing a fancy outfit, but he wasn't any kind of gentleman to me. Had his nose stuck so high in the air you couldn't see it above the clouds. City folk. They always think they deserve better than what they got. Those hoodlums he was with seemed to know Manny for some reason. He's our daytime sniper, up in the dinosaur's mouth. All right. Oh, uh, what is there of interest around here, might I ask? Well, there's Dinky, the town mascot. He's a sight. You probably already saw him when you came in, but you can go up inside, too. Up the roadways to the west, there's Repcon. That's the old rocket factory. There's been some sinister characters out there lately, so you may want to stay clear. Other than that, nothing to do but take it easy and enjoy good company. Uh, anything else I need to know? Well, up north the ways, you'll see a big tower. That's Helios 1. Used to be a power plant in its day. And there's a town just east of here called Nelson. Used to be such a quaint little place until those slavers took it over. But we got our wonderful snipers keeping an eye in that direction, and so far, the slavers have left us alone. Good to know. Uh, what can you tell me about this Repcon? I just know what I've heard. There's supposed to be some ghouls that went in a while back. Ever so often, there'll be a commotion from that direction. Explosions and such. Watch out for strangers! Alright. Thank you kindly. Alright, now how do we get out of here? Is it just this one door? Yeah. Yeah, this is why it's called Novak. Used to be no vacancy for the motel, but... Obviously. If you're planning on staying a while, the Dino Delight's got plenty of room. Well, might as well head up in the, uh... In the old dino there, don't you think? Actually... This is absolutely a good place to go. I will just say that right now. Welcome to the Dino Bite Gift Shop. My name's Cliff. If you're here for the T-Rex figurines, you're just in time. There's still a few left. Wait, what do you sell here? Well, there's T-Rex figurines, of course. That's our bread and butter. We also have an assortment of the Repcon factory souvenirs, rockets, things of that nature. Ah, well, and what about supplies and guns? Do you sell those? Guns? I, uh, well, yeah, I guess I might have a few. Darn it, no one ever buys the T-Rexes. Uh, sorry, friend. Ah. Hey, why don't you tell me more about the souvenir rockets, though? They're scale replicas of the real thing. Very detailed. Got a liquid in them that makes them glow. From what I hear, Repcon used to give them out on tours of their HQ up in Henderson. But I guess they had to stop after the first few kids thought they were filled with Nuka-Cola and drank it down. The papers had a name for the condition and everything. They called it the Repcon Shakes. Those were bad times for Robco. I can imagine. How'd they end up here, by the way? Well, they unloaded what they had left on the Dino Bite as a tax write-off, but that was before my time. Plenty of demand for them, seeing as how they're one-of-a-kind collector's items, but I might still have some in back. You know, I would like to see what you have for sale, friend. Maybe I'll buy something. Sure thing. Have a look. Oh my gosh! Chainsaw? 
That's nuts! 48 DPS and 49 damage? That's insane! It ignores armor? MF Hyperbreeder Alpha? Wait, what does that mean? Paciencia? Patience? Oh my gosh! That gun. Just that gun. Oh my gosh! Some of that stuff's insane. Just insane. Goodbye. Come back soon now. No, but seriously, I would like to go up up here, and you'll see why. What's going on, man? Uh I'm looking for a man in a checkered coat. Word around town is that you've uh, seen this man. Sure I know him. What do you want with him? <sighs> I'm looking for answers. Must be something pretty important to be chasing a guy like that. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. All right. What do you need? <sighs> Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They'd all have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site. But a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. And why don't you deal with it yourselves? I would, but I've got to watch the road. Caesar's Legion has been taking territory just east of here. They took Nelson. If we let our guard down, they might attack. All it takes for the Legion is for them to sense weakness. Alright, well, what needs to be done then? Well, they gotta go, or this will be a ghost town before long. Doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. Okay, okay. I'll see what can be done about it. Can't make any promises, of course, but I'll try. It'd mean a lot to me. Bye. Yeah, see ya. Okay. So we have that task ahead of us. Welcome. Come on in. I could have sworn there was something else to this town, though. I could be wrong. With all the people passing through lately, the town's been doing better than, well, ever. Yeah, I don't want to break into people's motel rooms. Uh... What about this place? What's this? No Bark Shack. Okay. Certainly interesting in this place. A lot of junk around, but not much else. Oops. Yikes. Yeah, I really could have sworn there was more to do around this place. Oh well. Although... You know what, we'll start from the left and work our way right. And we're getting pretty close to... What is going to be the end of this episode. Uh, excuse hey me. You from out of town, ain't you? Name's Dusty. What do you do here, Novak? Oh, I tend to my ranch. That's about it. Alice will tell you, I don't get out a whole lot. Uh, how's business lately? You must mean what's left of it. Somebody's been attacking our animals at night. We're down to less than half of what we had a few weeks back. 
Uh, tell me what you know about the attack. Cause it started this happening. I mean, see what I can do, maybe. Every night around midnight, Alice and I wake up to some crazy hollering and gunshots. You'd think the world was ending all over again. But it's just one animal each night. They don't take it or carve it up or nothing. Just leave it there, all full of holes. I'll see if I can catch whoever's responsible for this. We'd be grateful. Especially if you find them before they get my whole stock. But don't go getting yourself killed over it. Alice and I'll find a way to make do. Always have. Did you get a look at the attacker at all? Beg your pardon, mister, but them two-headed beeves ain't worth getting shot over. Not to mention what would happen if half of what Nobark says is true. Best we can hope is that whoever's doing this will move on or get tired of it. I just hope it happens while we still got animals left. Whoever it is, I don't think they're from around town. Seems like they've taken to shooting from the west side. All right. Goodbye. So long. Hello. What brings you here? Well, I mean, I'm on the trail of my would-be killers, but it sounds like you've got a killing problem of your own. What, what can you tell me about the attacks on your ranch? Well, that's the strangest thing. Last time it happened, I could swear I heard someone cry out for help. Sounded like a big fella. But when we finally got up the gumption to go look outside, all we found was our cattle. And I know what they sound like when they get upset. I can't imagine what went on. Dusty can probably tell you more about it. Uh, what do you think of the people who live here? Oh, we keep to ourselves for the most part. Try not to pry. I think Jeannie Mae gets bothered that we aren't more sociable. But it's just our way. Ain't that we don't appreciate what she's done, managing this town like she has. But I worry she feels that way anyhow. Not that there ain't others who pry around here. That no-bark was skulking around our yard last week. <laughs> I thought he was our cow killer. Was about to lash him with our bullwhip till I saw who it was. He's harmless, though. Part of me wishes I could see things like he sees them. All full of mystery. How did no-bark get his name? I'm not sure who started it. It wasn't a very nice name, but he took to calling himself by it, so we all had to. I don't even remember what his real name is. Anyway, I think it comes from that expression that people say when you're crazy, that not all of your dogs are barking. Poor no bark. Good to know. I uh, just wanted to meet you, by the way. I thought I'd stop in. Heard there were other people around here. I'm, as you can tell, I'm not from here, so... Oh, well, I'm Alice. And you've already met my beau, Dusty. He's sweet, ain't he? I don't care what my mama said. I know how to pick them. We set up this ranch years back when Novak was just getting settled. But now, with all the danger on I-15, folks are starting to come through here from all over. Novak might just be the next Nevada boomtown. All right. Thank you. Goodbye. Nice of you to visit. Good to meet you. All right. Uh, let's see, what was it? Miscellaneous. Oh, how to play caravan, advanced gun for sure. They didn't shoot, th shot the sheriff, but didn't shoot the deputy. Okay, midnight ranch tax. Being at the Brahmin pen at that time. Okay, well this is the Brahmin pen. Seemed, sa he said it seemed like they came from the west side. So, I wonder... I wonder if I can set up in a nice little hidey hole and wait for about six hours. We're gonna camp this one out. I mean, it's a little after midnight, so...
Rotting Brahmin corpse, okay. I wonder if we have to be right at the pen exactly when it's when it's exactly midnight. So this is going to take a little bit to wait here, but Oh, oh. Get out of my head. Boys will help the boom. Nightkin. Boom. A minigun in this economy? The screams of Brahmin. Oh, that's probably in data, isn't it? Most of what is recorded here is a mess of incomprehensible psychotic gibberish. It seems to express a general frustration towards a set of Brahmin who are allegedly keeping the author awake at night by screaming inside his head whenever he closes his eyes. Yikes. Also, we're nearly out of uh, three, 357 rounds, so... <laughs> Yikes, he was a sponge. Uh, Dusty. You're Dusty. Have you seen your husband? What brings you here? <sighs> nice of you to visit. Oh, Dusty. Find anything? No one is going to attack your crowd from now on. Well, I don't know how you've done it, but I do know how I can thank you. Please take this. Compliments of Alice and myself. And help yourself to anything in that freezer over yonder. We got more steaks in there than we'd be able to eat in a year. Thank you kindly. So long. Accepted in Novak. Folks have come to accept you for your helpful nature. Excellent. Boom. Well, on that note, on that note, people, we're going to end the episode right here. Next time, let's go chase after some ghouls in a rocket factory. Sounds like fun. But until then, I'm the Nerdy Librarian. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.